What's up, YouTube? First and foremost, shout out to Alien Army. Raise up, stand up, drop a comment, and hit a like. If you don't know what Alien Army is, those are people that are subscribed to my channel that rock with me heavy. They always hit the like button and always drop a comment. I understand that when you watch a video and uh, you know you don't know what to put as a comment, especially if you enjoy it, uh, a lot of people just drop emojis, and that's what I encourage. If you don't know what to put as a comment, if you have a question or a comment, uh, me being a small channel, even if I get big, I do respond to 99.9% uh, .9 of my comments. Uh, you know, hit a like button that really helps out with the algorithm, and drop a comment. <clears throat> and drop a you know an alien emoji a thumbs up a heart something to, to let me know you rock with me uh i am homeless i do live in my car i have a bunch of content on here uh, feel free to check out and also like i said i, I answer uh, any and all questions basically i respond to everybody <coughs> jumping straight into this video how do uh how do people I'm already messing up <laughs> it's my it's my writing too how do people become homeless uh, this was uh, a suggested video from uh, the inspiration tab. That's what it's called. It used to be called the research tab on uh, the YouTube studio. It's a little app that we have on our phone. You're, I guess you're a content creator. So you know, it'll suggest things that I should do. And uh, that's, you know, it jumps straight into it. How do people become homeless? Very, uh, very easy. You would, uh, there's a million ways. Uh, I'm going to talk about a lot of them that pop into my head. If you're uh, if you just turned 18 years old and you um you you don't get along with your family or there's uh, very bad stuff going on in the family dynamics, you may leave right then and there. It may be too much for you. A lot of people won't even wait till they're 18. Some people will when they turn 18, uh, they get kicked out instantly. They were never loved, or they weren't showed uh, you know compassion or support or anything like that. At the age of 18, they were they're kicked out. Did I know people like that? Absolutely. Um, you know, I knew people that couldn't wait to leave, you know, people left before the age of 18. I, I don't recommend that or anything like that, but it all depends on what's going on inside your house. You know, a lot of people don't want to talk about what, what goes on. And I have videos on here where I talked about what, you know, my upbringing, uh, upbringing, <coughs> my upbringing and, um, you know, the bad stuff that I went through. That video doesn't get pushed very much, but, uh, you know, check it out. It's got the word childhood in there. I got several videos like that. A lot of people really enjoy that. And I'm, that, uh, I'm very humble and I, uh, I talk about the stuff that, that's happening to me. Um, I'm not out there. When I do that, just let everybody know that, especially new. I'm not looking for em uh, empathy or sympathy or, you know, um, you know, acting like a victim or anything like that. I'm just sharing my story. And uh, hopefully uh, people get a positive message from it and uh, they rock with me. I'm just being honest and that's all I can do. Um, another thing is, is natural disasters. Something should happen. Uh, to jump in, I guess, the, the, the real meat and the bones of it, you know, uh, let's say that uh, you got hurt at work, you know. You probably, you know, the the majority the majority of people don't even have $1,000 in their savings account. I think it said something like over 80% do not. If there's something happens to your car and you get hurt, you know, workman's comp will take a long time. Let's say you get hurt really bad and now you need uh, disability or social security or something like that. Those things take forever too. Some people are saying that it's a two year backlog. I don't know how long it takes to get something like that. Um, another thing too is, is uh, you know, if your wife, if you're a guy <coughs> and your wife divorces you and takes all your stuff, basically, right? You know, that's very hard. Or you could be a woman and that could happen to you too uh, as well. Most likely in, in, in what I've seen, uh, I've seen it where the woman takes everything and it's not always court ordered, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's not like, you know, it's not like, you know, hey, we're going to give you the ice trays. Some people's relationships when they're married just get so bad that they're like, you know, take everything, just get out of my life. And that's exactly what they do. <clears throat> uh, when your kids could get hurt, uh, you know, not having a babysitter, um, it's so easy to go from uh you know uh, some of the stuff that, that that's made people homeless and i've talked about it before was the 2008 uh, real estate bubble that came crashing down i saw rich people that never ever ever thought that they would ever have an idea of um uh you know that this could happen to them and a lot of them actually when they were on the streets they felt hopeless they felt like they couldn't get back what they once had they saw just how how hard it is a lot of those people that um that that real estate bubble uh, hit and that they those people they became homeless they weren't in an upbringing of having street smarts you know they were you know they weren't um you know they didn't go to a hood school they didn't know what happened out on the streets they didn't know the manipulation they didn't know uh the tactics they didn't know the dark arts of uh of a lot of stuff that goes on <clears throat> and unfortunately they uh they learned you know by, by it happening to them if they you know if something happens uh happens to you enough and it sucks you, you learn from it you know uh or most people do at least i, I like to think that uh, uh you know at the very least <coughs> Sorry, I'm cleaning my, you know, clearing my throat. Uh, I did these videos in semi carb and uh, it's very hot and humid out in the Midwest, and I have my air off when I do videos, um, but still rock with me here. So, uh, yeah, divorce. If you get hurt, 
waiting on a, a you know a workman's comp if you got hurt at work you know what those lawyers from the different companies you know they could put up a big fight you know um, and one of the biggest things is is how much money you make you know what I mean what you made for a lot of people what you make just barely covers that so if you you know have a, a really high electricity bill one you know one month or your car breaks down and it's uh, it's a deciding factor do I fix my car or do I pay my rent or do I pay my mortgage you know you can't go late on a rent and they're real quick to, to evict you on a mortgage that's how you lose your house by not uh, not paying it on time <laughs> it may take a couple of months and then there's some uh, some states that you can go a very long time without paying a mortgage uh, I don't want to uh, you know I don't want to say the states I know that happens in, um, but I've heard about it quite a bit. Uh, there's other, uh, uh, the, the money thing, if you know, uh, <clears throat> the, the prices of houses being so expensive, what makes them that expensive? You know, the prices of vehicles, what makes them so, so expensive? You know, the insurance for your vehicles. I'm, <clears throat> I'm a strong believer of, um, you know, if you pay for insurance and you don't use it, then, then you should get that money back, you know? Uh, the same thing about, um, you know, uh, uh, insurance, like health insurance. I don't have health insurance. I don't think I've ever had health insurance in my whole life. And I've had some crazy stuff happen, but I'm trying not to get sidetracked in this video. But, um, like, like today, for example, I picked up my blood pressure pills, had to pay out of pocket. They're expensive, you know? Um, you know, the, how do I get, how do I get pills if I don't have insurance? I use an app, uh, and I see my doctor every three months, and then I do a, a blood test once a year. And it's all on that app, and it, and it does cost money. You know, uh, I think it's like 15, 20 bucks a, a month. <coughs> and then uh, scheduling video calls with the doctor and letting them know that you got 60 or $70, and then picking up the pills. The pills are like around 40-something dollars. It, it's all expensive, you know. So, you know, uh, I'm just not paying three or $400 a month for uh, for insurance like some people. And then you got rules and regulations where if you have children, you, uh, you know, uh, you have to do that. So not only is it very hard with the money that you have and then paying for rent or paying for mortgage, and when you're renting, you're, you know, you're not getting any equity. That money is gone. Inside your house, you at least get equity. Uh, However, um, the price of that house is, in my opinion, it's it's too damn much. And most of the time, what you make, you, you don't like. I'm not going to talk about the people who live in nice areas and stuff. And uh, well, I will in a second. But <coughs> most people live in, um, you know, lower. Uh, they're like there is no middle class. So damn near every place is everybody is just struggling. You're just one paycheck away. I even have a video that's, you know, I talked about, you know, even when I was working, uh, you know, being a truck driver, and before we were in the truck driving, uh, working, um, I was in the medical field for over 12 years. Me doing that, I was always one paycheck away. Like, one little thing could 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 have cost me. I remember, you know, like, you know, okay, half this paycheck, half next paycheck, and then half, uh, half the next paycheck just to make rent and just to, you know, pay my car note. And then I'd be like, okay, that means I'm good for another 30 days. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I better buy Top Ramen this week. You know, I know, you know, I got to buy Top Ramen this week. And, and it was a lot, you know, it was a blessing to even buy Top Ramen. You know, I remember uh, going to the food banks and stuff like that, um, you know, quite often. You know, um, if you fall in hard times, the best you could do is go to a, 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 you know, like, not the best you can do. But one of the things that happens is you go uh, borrow money from one of those uh, cat. Uh, check hashing places and uh but that gets in a in a very big um you know uh like turnover rate <clears throat> suddenly you pay for that and then now you're you're out of money again and then you're borrowing it every single month and they got like a 400 percent uh markup on that you know i believe you you know you you borrow 300 and you got to pay 600 back or 500 back or whatever it is and then now it's like damn dude okay i'm got i gotta go a week or two without uh you know really buying any food i i don't i know i'm out of mouthwash i know i'm out of q-tips i know i'm out of deodorant <clears throat> you know um you know, I better uh, I better only use the gas in my vehicle just to get to work and back, and I better have I better not run the air conditioner inside my apartment or my house. All that stuff adds up. <laughs> it really does seem like um, you know uh, there's nothing but hurdles, uh, and uh, you know I I'll talk about what the, some of the unfair stuff is. You know, you you, you pay your taxes through your um, you know when uh, the deductions on your stuff, and then you file it at the end of the year, and then if you've uh, I guess quote unquote, you know, did your taxes right and you you know, depending on the brackets and stuff like that, you'll get money back. But what's crazy to me is this the the people the government taking that money, paying their employees more than you know, like why are we paying you to have a salary that's that's more than us? Then on top of that, uh, from my understanding, they use that money to make more money. And uh, you know, why aren't we getting, you know, like whatever you you know, where's our interest rate on that? You know? Um uh 
you know, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit about that, but I, I ask that you guys stay with me and rock with me because I'll, I'll get my, uh, I'll get my bearings in a second. But uh, nonetheless, the, the the truth about it is, is there's all sorts of hurdles. There's not very many things out there that actually really help you. Uh, if you are hard up and you need Section 8, I think uh, what I just read on uh, Google the other day, just in San Diego, California, it's got like a five-year waiting list for Section 8. The best, you know, so why is people being becoming homeless? Because they just mess up once and they're screwed. You know, a natural disaster happening. Yeah, how long? How long do you got to wait before uh, people start giving you, uh, you know, uh, uh, resources and help? You know, and then when you finally get it, does it even help you at that point? Like, does it even get you back to where you were? No, it's it's a lot easier to go downhill than it is uphill, and uh, and and it, and it sucks. <coughs> you know. Um, the ways that you could go ahead and try to make sure that you did that, that doesn't have uh, another thing too uh, didn't want to get sidetracked um, is I understand that a lot of people think hey you know if, if I became homeless or if I find, find myself in, in a hard situation um, you know I have uh, my mom I have my dad I have my cousin I got my brother I got my homeboy I got my homegirl I got this person I got friends and stuff like that nobody owes anybody anything you know uh, you don't know that they will that they are willing to loan you money until they've done it you don't know if they're willing to let you stay at their house and tell you you're in that situation I'm homeless do I uh, do I have um and I have a lot of friends and family and a lot of people that love me and stuff, but they're not in positions to do that you know like I bet I bet they and when I say that like they would be in that position if uh, like they'd be willing to do that for for maybe somebody else not me I'm, I'm you know my with friends with friends and stuff we're not family you know what I mean? Like, they don't owe me anything, and I'm not friends with people because I want something from them. <clears throat> um, you know, you don't know. And, uh, of course, you you, you know, you, you do what you can. You, you let them know, like, hey, if there's anything I can do around your house, um, you know, uh, yard work or whatever, if you need me to, uh, you know, you need help, I'd be, you know, I'm in a hard position. I'm, I'm trying to make some money here, you know, stuff like that. Um, but uh, nobody owes anybody anything. And, uh, unfortunately, I think a lot of people are extremely naive thinking that, um, you know, their friends and their family got you. The person who got you is yourself. Or that's, or you should only rely and depend on yourself because, um, you know, you're the most capable. You're the, you're the one in that situation, whether it's your fault or not. <sighs> there's, um, there's a lot of issues, uh, unfortunately, with that. You know, um, the people, the people that are, um, you know, that, that, that uh, like there's a lot of people that would be homeless if there wasn't so many people living inside of a house so like um, like a big family or whatever right big family um, you know if they everybody's only making 20 bucks uh, an hour um, and uh, they're making 20 bucks an hour nobody could you know all you could afford at that point is um, renting a room you know <clears throat> and uh, I'll talk about it real quick too I've rented uh, rooms probably about five times five or six times uh, just off the top of my head at least four though but I'm saying five or six with me renting rooms and stuff it always ended bad it always ended up where um, the person stole money from me or stole my belongings and or both you know there's um, uh, the people that are renting rooms they are probably in a financial problem themselves their stories that I've heard as well that, that I didn't go through but uh, so everything went bad and that's first-hand uh, experience right Right? The uh, secondhand experience is people that are renting those rooms. They are um, literally 30 days from getting evicted, or that they're 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 two months um, behind their mortgage, and they're trying to come up with something. And then they ask you for a down security deposit. They want the first and second month. They don't do credit checks nine times out of ten because they're renting a room. If they required. Uh, a good credit score if they required you know they really want to see that you know that one you're uh, you know if, if they're smart <clears throat> they want to make sure that you do not have a you know a, a drinking problem or any other problems like that they want to make sure that you actually are gainfully employed they also want to make sure that um, you know you're not going to be um, a squatter on them you know invoke these squatter rights and not pay them and stay there for a very long time you know the whole credit check and stuff like that no uh, they're in a, they're in a position of, uh, of uh, you know like do you think that when you rent a room from that person they're gonna go ahead and start um, you know on their taxes actually write down hey this is extra money or income I got or is it off the books you know are they gonna put your name on a on a lease and stuff like that nine times out of ten no <clears throat> renting rooms have always uh, ended badly for me <clears throat> I uh, I really haven't heard anybody ever tell me a successful story where it worked. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people are, you know, it, they're not being really a middle class and everybody's just like a working poor, working slave for the most part, um, living paycheck to paycheck. You need to, you know, 
it's very hard to, 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 to get through life. And I'm sure that you, you guys could agree, you know, it's not been a cakewalk, right? Then number two, it's very hard if you are single, you know, like me, I only have my income. You know, I understand it's even harder when you when you're single and you have children because now it's just one person's income and you have you have kids to take care of, right? I don't have any kids, just to let you know. Um, but you know, it, it takes several people's incomes now. You know, it takes a man, you know, like, you know, men and men and women or however your relationship set uh, set, or you need to have roommates, um, you know, that you know you were going to school with or you know that that all decide to go in a place. But a lot of that time, it, it just messes up. <coughs> but um. How do people become homeless? I think I give the, uh, quite a few uh, really good examples of how they become homeless. It's not, some people, it's, it, it is a choice, you know. They choose to, to fix their car, or fix their health, or they choose to not pay for a whole lot of, uh, you, know, uh, you know, basically pay rent for a place that they don't feel safe at. I do have a video on here, um, how I became homeless. It's my first long form video. Um, it's got a full story, it's almost an hour long. Um, if you wanted to find out about that story, definitely watch that, um, you know. And uh, if you wanted to find out why I quit truck driving, I have a video on that too. I think that was the third or fourth video I did. Normally I try to keep my videos a little bit longer because people enjoy that kind of content and I don't mind doing it. However, when it's this hot and I'm sweating in here, <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut it short real quick. Uh, however, um, uh, my YouTube, oh, if you want to show me love or bless me, my cash app is the same as my YouTube name, Alien Ascend. Um, you know, uh, Show some love if you if you want, and uh, you know subscribe, hit the like button, drop a comment, and uh, I want to thank you so much.